The terrifying thing narcissists do when they can't control you. Hi there. Do you feel lost and need clarification lately? Maybe you're dealing with someone who's controlling and manipulative, and you don't know how to protect yourself. It's a painful situation to be in, but you don't have to go through it alone. I invite you to check out my free course, Narcissism 101, designed to help you cope with difficult situations and avoid falling into the trap of negative people like narcissists and emotional vampires. It includes basic shielding techniques and practical advice that you can apply immediately to your life. Let's face it, narcissists are sick and twisted people who thrive on inflicting pain on others. They enjoy making others miserable and feel immune to the law, but you don't have to suffer at their hands. You could become stronger and more resilient with the right tools and mindset. Don't let them control your thoughts and feelings any longer. Take charge of your life with Narcissism 101. Find the download link in the description box below and start your journey toward healing and freedom today. Are you familiar with narcissism and how it affects the behavior of individuals? Narcissists often have an inflated sense of self and believe they are superior to others. They are successful at work because they present themselves as being better than their peers, even taking credit for others' efforts and shifting blame when things go wrong. However, Narcissists view those with emotional intelligence as easy targets. They desire validation and will use and abuse those around them to achieve it. They consider compassionate individuals easy prey and are often mizzled into causing problems for the wrong people. It's important to note that having empathy doesn't make someone weak. Everyone can be empathetic, and those with a strong capacity for empathy tend to be kind and caring but it's essential to turn off our empathy switch when dealing with someone who is harmful or abusive. Narcissists are abrasive, self-centered, and manipulative, and they don't deserve our sympathy. We need to be cautious not to let them take advantage of our kindness. In this video, I explore the underlying psychology of why narcissists prefer to target those who display traits like kindness or empathy. Narcissists have difficulty understanding that someone can be selfless without being willing to tolerate their harmful behavior. When they attempt to love bomb their targets, they may initially succeed in fooling them, but eventually, their true intentions are revealed. Kind, compassionate people are not afraid to confront narcissists and call them out on their hurtful behavior. Remember, showing empathy and kindness is a strength, but being taken advantage of is unacceptable. Don't let narcissists manipulate and control you. Stand up for yourself and your rights, and know that you deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. When someone victimized doesn't let their sympathy be a weakness, it shows that they value themselves. A victim like this causes enough grief to a narcissist that the narcissist regrets ever engaging with them. Different people have different ways of dealing with adversity, and some choose to leave the narcissist alone while others are determined to take revenge. If justice seems too slow to arrive, it's understandable that disillusionment and anger set in. However, publicly humiliating a narcissist increases the likelihood that they will seek vengeance, which might even include physical violence or destruction of property. Some people take unlawful measures to deal with narcissists. Even though this may not be the most effective strategy, Seeking revenge may seem natural when one has suffered at the hands of a narcissist, but, as I already explained in the video, retaliatory actions can lead to the narcissist hitting rock bottom. Receiving exposure and having individuals who could ruin their image can trigger depression in narcissists. When confronted with substantial evidence of their bad behavior, narcissists often blame others and come up with excuses for their actions. This is why they explode with wrath when confronted with someone who won't play along with their tactics. Due to their intense fear, some victims may choose not to take action against the perpetrator, fearing the potential risks. They may blame the victim and play the victim themselves. However, some choose to stand up for themselves and confront the narcissist face to face, realizing that lying, manipulation, and abuse are unacceptable. If we, the intelligent, vanish without a trace, we may easily cut off their narcissistic supply and leave them bewildered. The key to avoiding such situations 
is to lead by example and embody the traits that others strive to possess. I hope this discussion on today's topic was helpful. Thank you for listening to my ramblings, and please share your feedback in the comment section below. So, everyone, have you ever found yourself dealing with someone who is extremely controlling and manipulative? Maybe you feel lost and need some clarification on how to protect yourself? If so, you have come to the right place. First, I want to tell you about my free course, Narcissism 101. It is designed to help you cope with these difficult situations and avoid falling into the trap of negative people like narcissists and emotional vampires. This course includes basic shielding techniques and practical advice that you can apply immediately to your life. Okay, the truth is, narcissists are sick and twisted people who thrive on inflicting pain on others. They enjoy making others miserable and feel immune to the law, but they don't have to suffer at their hands. You can become stronger and more resilient with the right tools and mindset. It is important to understand the behavior of narcissists and how they view themselves compared to others. In their eyes, they are superior beings and will do whatever it takes to prove that. They often take credit for others' efforts and shift blame when things don't go as planned. However, they view those with emotional intelligence as easy targets. They deserve validation and will use and abuse those around them to achieve it. But having empathy doesn't make someone weak. Everyone can be empathetic and those with a strong capacity for empathy tend to be kind and caring. But it is crucial to turn off our empathy switch when dealing with someone who is harmful or abusive. Narcissists are abrasive, self-centered, and manipulative, and they don't deserve our sympathy. We need to be cautious not to let them take advantage of our kindness. In this video, we just delve deeper into the psychology behind why narcissists target those who display kindness or empathy. The truth is, narcissists have difficulty understanding that someone can be selfless without being willing to tolerate their harmful behavior. They try to love bomb their targets, but eventually, their true intentions are revealed. Kind, compassionate people are not afraid to confront narcissists and call them out on their hurtful behavior. It is important to remember that showing empathy and kindness is a strength, but allowing ourselves to be taken advantage of is unacceptable. We must stand up for ourselves and our rights, knowing that we deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. When someone who is being victimized doesn't let their sympathy be a weakness, it shows that they value themselves. Victims like this cause enough grief to a narcissist that the narcissist regrets ever engaging with them. Different people have different ways of dealing with adversity and some choose to leave the narcissist alone while others seek revenge. But seeking revenge can be dangerous and publicly humiliating a narcissist could lead to physical harm or destruction of property. However, some people take unlawful measures to deal with narcissists even though this may not be the most effective strategy. Retaliatory actions can lead to the nurses hitting rock bottom, especially if they receive exposure and have individuals who could ruin their image. Narcissists often blame others and come up with excuses for their actions, which is why they explode with wrath when confronted with someone who won't play along with their tactics. Due to their intense fear, some victims may choose not to take action against the perpetrator, fearing the potential risk. They may even blame themselves or play the victim role, but some choose to stand up for themselves and confront the narcissist face to face, realizing that lying, manipulation, and abuse are unacceptable. And if we, the intelligent, fannies without a trace, we cut off their narcissistic supply and leave them bewildered. This will make the narcissist feel miserable and alone. In the end, to avoid dealing with narcissists, we should lead by example and embody the traits that others strive to possess. And don't forget, Narcissism 101 can provide you with the tools and mindset you need to protect yourself and move forward with strength and resilience. Well, thank you for listening to me rambling on. Please share your feedback in the comment section below if you have anything to add on this discussion. And I look forward to hearing you in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day everyone.